welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am the host of the show, Tony Green. Thank you for joining me here today. We are going to get started. Um, before we get started, just a few little PSA announcements. Please uh, know I will never reach out to you and ask you to uh, have a reading. If you want a reading, you connect with me through my website. Um, I don't ever reach out to people, so please don't get scammed. There's a lot of scammers out there on everybody's um, social media trying to, you know, do their scammy scam stuff. Second, this show does air on WSCS. Thank you, Scott, for all you do. Rude Rangers TV. Thank you, Rudy. I'm so grateful for you. And almost every single podcast, a number of streaming channels such as Roku and, um, you know, the other streaming channels that are out there. <laughs> so sorry. Just psh, gone. Just like that. It's gone. Um, and radio stations. Okay. Hey, Stevie. I hope you're having an amazing day. Um, I think that's everything. I want to say hey to uh, Fawn and Genevieve who have checked in on YouTube chat. In a moment, I'm going to start taking callers. When I take callers, I will um, say your area code. When I say your area code, please let me know your name and where you're calling from. And I'm so sorry, my brain is totally lagging today. Um, your name, where you're calling from, and then one question or one connection. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name, their relationship to you. And then if you have a question for your loved one on the other side, let me know right away. Don't wait until I give you the message and then go, oh, well, this is my question. <laughs> I don't really mind that, but I just feel like, let me know right away. If you are in the call log and you want a question, you have a question or you want to connect, please don't forget to hit the button to call uh, to get um, to, uh, I think you have to like hit one if you want to actually talk to me. Otherwise, you're just listening to the show. Okay. I also want to say hi to um, Phoenix Davis. I think that's how you say your name. And Amy. Hey, Amy. How are you? I'm going to go directly to callers now and I'm going to take, and if you have, if you're on YouTube and you have a question, you can post your question on the YouTube chat and I'll be going back and forth between um, callers and YouTube questions. And if I don't get your question right away, if I miss it, please don't be afraid to repost it. I will get it as soon as I can. Hey, Rob, that's uh, Rob. Thank you for joining us here today. Um, okay, first caller is 520-520. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Oh, thank you for taking my call. I'm Lisa and from Arizona. Thank you. I wanted to talk to my significant other who passed earlier this year, and his name is Robin, and he, can he please tell me if his family are going to try and interfere with the sale of the house that he and I both own, but now I totally own it since his passing. Legally, yes. I own it. Okay, first and foremost, I like I have goosebumps everywhere and goosebumps are confirmation that the person is here. And um, okay, so I'm so sorry for your loss. Sometimes I forget to say that to people because I'm so busy jumping into the answer to their question and it comes off as I'm not being sensitive. I really am. You guys, you don't even know like when I have clients or I'm doing the show, um, sometimes for the rest of the day, I'll be thinking about certain things from a show or um, like a week later, I'll still be thinking about it, depending on the content of what happens. So if I come off on the show very nonchalant, 
it's just the energy coming through me. It's not me personally. Okay. So first of all, so if I forget to say, I'm sorry for your loss, um, that really eats me up for days. I will be like, Oh my God, how did I not say that? Um, so he's saying, just get on with it. <laughs> he was like, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. Just get on with it. Um, they are going to try to, they, there's going to be inter, let me put it this way. There's going to be interference. They're going to really try to guilt you. And then they're going to try to shun you. And then they might try to ice you out. All of these things will be momentary and temporary, and they will have no luck. They don't have a leg to stand on is what I'm getting. And don't, you know, here's the most difficult thing. When somebody passes, in many cases, people feel like they're owed something or they want something, or if there was something, it should be theirs. It's not always the case, okay? It's just not always the case. This is a dream that the two of you had, that the two of you created, that the two of you followed through with. I do feel like whatever they try to do, A, will not be successful, as he's already said, but B, will be very short-lived. Like they might talk to somebody and try to send a letter or something like that. I don't feel like it's going to be successful, I do feel like anything they do is going to be, um, they're using the term null and void. And meaning you're going to be the successor or the successful one in this. Don't worry too much about their actions and don't, um, you legally, legally, you have all of the standings and rights in this. And I don't feel like they're, I feel like they're going to make one attempt just to see if they can get some, you know, interfere. Um, and when they realize like intimidation isn't working, they will have to back down. Now, I do feel like it's one person, two people driving this. I feel like it's two people driving this. Um, Everybody else just really doesn't care, but there are two main people driving this. And I do feel like once you get through this part of it, they're e of his situation or family, they're either just going to completely drop off or they're going to leave it alone. There is somebody on his side of the family that does want some sort of, um, and I don't know if you're watching me, but like I'm rubbing my fingers and, and that's like tangible momentum of his. It's something that you may not realize has value, but it does have value. And I feel like it could be. Um, I'm seeing three different things, but I get the feeling it's something with gold. It could be a watch. It could be a ring. It could be, it's something like that, but it's very tangible. And they're going to think or assume that you don't realize it has value and it, it does have value. And they're going to say they want it as a remembrance or a momentum of his life. Like it means something to them. They might even go so far as to say, what? Well, we we got that for him so it's only right we get it back that's not true it's a it's a it's it that's a false statement so please know that um but they're going to and you don't and here's a thing whether something has value or not at this point it's up to you what you do with things um so make your choices based on where you are in your heart and who these people were to him genuinely, not by blood and not by name. Okay. That's really important to remember. Listen, I have six siblings. I talked to two of them consistent, three of them consistently. Okay. And the funny thing is if something happened to me, the other three would be the first ones at my doorstop. 
like claiming things were old, right? So um, what I would say to you is make that choice based on the relationship, the true relationship he had with them. And that's what his words would be, not mine. Um, I know this is a really difficult time for you and my heart goes out to you. I can't imagine um, what you're going through. And I, I truly hope this was helpful. Please know they won't be successful with anything that they're um, attempting at this point, okay? Thank you. you. You put my mind to ease because, you know, I just don't know what to. Uh, thank you. Thank you. You are welcome. And remember, um, depending on what state you live in, those laws are iron clad. Those laws it doesn't matter who the attorney is or what kind of verbiage they use. Those laws are ironclad. So please know that. Okay, love. The, and what I'm basically oh, yeah. getting oh, is yeah. the law is on your side. The law is on your side. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. You are so, so welcome. And I hope you have a happy holiday season, even though all of this will be going on, okay? Thank you. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for calling in. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. Um, but before I do, I want to let you know if you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845 277 nine one three one hopefully my dyslexia didn't kick in on that one i want to say hi more people have jumped in on um on the youtube chat so i want to say hi hey uh kate how are you um uh, kavita is here lolly hey lolly thanks for joining um and I'm going to go to 401 and then I'm going to answer questions on um, on YouTube chat. But 401, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, thanks for taking my call. Uh, my name is Carrie and I'm calling from Rhode Island. Okay, Carrie. Hey, Ruth. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? I'm excellent. Thank you so much. How can I help you today? Well, I was... You know, just I got an email from Blogspot, so I'm a I might be a first time caller. I don't think I've heard your show before, so I believe Spirit led me here for sure. Excellent. Well, I <laughs> like to hear that. Um, <laughs> I have quite a few loved ones in Spirit, so I wasn't really focusing on connecting with anyone in particular. If you'd like me to provide you with one person, I could do that. Yeah, um, because if I just start allowing everybody to come in, trust me, everybody, even people you don't know, will just start stepping in. So it's always easiest to get that first direct person. And I do, I am going to tell you, I see an older man uh, coming in. Uh, regular size, like not not really big, um, not really skinny, regular size guy coming in, but he was older. And it's really weird because even though I can't see like from the waist, I can see from the waist up, but it's not clear. He's showing me he was in a in a pair of jeans and in, in denim, as they called it back in the day. He's in some denim. So <laughs> whatever that means. My father's in spirit, but I will tell you right now, he never wore a pair of jeans his entire life that I saw. He always has polyester pants on, or he's always like black. So I know for sure that's him because that's definitely an inside joke right there. <laughs> okay, so thank you because I was like, he just is showing that's me. So he's laughing and showing me that, and I know it's a little bit older of a person who would be a father age rather than a grandfather age. The way they present to me and I'm like okay so this denim is significant I I that's the main thing he was showing me so thank you for acknowledging that there are a lot of people around him 
there are quite you're yeah. right you do have quite a few people in spirit and they're all showing up but i'm not seeing faces i'm just seeing like basically um just um bodies coming in there's a lady or a woman i'm sorry there's a woman next to him who is um a little bit fuller at one point in her life she was a little bit fuller and she is wearing like a dress with one of those little crop jackets over it and for some reason that's significant <laughs> And so that is that's his mom. <laughs> okay, thank you. So those two are showing up next to each other, and then everybody else is there. And then I'm hearing the song, and it doesn't matter if they sang this song, if they partook in this song, even if they like this song, but the song is hey, hey, the gang's all here. So and only those words, thank goodness. <laughs> um and so they're letting you know everybody's up in this joint right now. Um, and those are my words, not theirs. Clearly my words, not theirs. So the first message that they would want to, for first, I'm going to ask you before I get started, is there a specific question that you have for anyone over there? No, not specifically. Okay. I'm just sort of transitioning. So. The first thing they want you to know then is that your life is about to take off. Like, um, uh, yeah. Oh my God. They are being ridiculous right now. They're like, they're this. And this is why I do one at a time because I'm getting like three or four different messages at the same time. And somebody over there is a goofball. Um, and they're just throwing crazy <laughs> things in like giddy up and Elvira. And, and I'm like, stop, stop. So, That's um, so they, that all makes sense too. It's funny. <laughs> it all makes sense to you. Thank goodness. I'm saying it then. Um, see so guys see like, I will get these things and think I'm not going to say that. And then the person listening is like, yep, that's right on. That's right on cue. Okay. Um, the first thing, it, it, as they were saying, as he was saying, is get ready because your life's about to take off. You're going to feel like you don't have enough hours in the day but in a different way because of new things. There's going to be a lot of new things coming in for your life. A lot of things that are um, very significant. You cannot get them wrong, but they're new and you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to like figure out a way to get everything like um, in try to get everything in. I don't know what that means for you. And because this is stuff that's coming in, that's not here yet. You may not even know what this means. You may know that you're working towards something and then it's going to work out. So don't worry because it is going to work out. The next thing that they are saying for you is that they have a lot of, um, I don't know what this word means for you, so I'm just going to say it. Uh, reciprocity for you coming in. <laughs> Thank you. I say that a lot lately because, like, you know, life is a two-way street, whether it's in relationships, friendships, work, really, you know, work. It's just give and take, you know. It's sort of yeah. Sad. My father is very, like, you know, one hand washes the other. You know, you can't expect it, but sometimes, you know, it's nice when, when there's reciprocity. And it's hard to come by. Thank you for confirming that for me because that word just kind of popped out and like there is, they're letting you know that part of what's coming in is the reciprocity. Um, and again, they're showing me like a teeter totter and that a lot of the times mm -hmm. it's, it's like very un it's not, it's never balanced. It's always like slanted one way, like you're saying, and they're saying it's about to be balanced and just enjoy that balance. Just enjoy that balance. Um, and it's going to come in in ways that you wouldn't expect it. Maybe, you know, what's really mm, interesting, amazing, weird is we might be in situations where we give, 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 and that 
area that we give, 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 give to will never be able to, for whatever reason, to give back. But then something else comes in that completely gives back and evens out the scale, okay? So don't worry about where it's coming from. Just accept it when it's coming. And that's one of the most important things that you can do for yourself is to like accept when it comes in. Okay, love? Thank you so much. And I do want to say before I called in, I did send a message to a friend and they were having a tough day. And I just, you know, I said self-preservation is key. It's all about balance. So thank you so much. <laughs> Yes. And that's their, you know, and sometimes fear comes in and they'll just use words that you use and things that you say to let you know they are always with you. They are always with you. They are always there. They are always with you. And that is exactly what your family is also letting you know. They're always with you. They're always listening. They're always um, doing what they need to do. For you, okay? Thank you so much. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for calling in, and I hope you have a very happy holidays. And um, hopefully, we'll Thank talk you. again prior to that, though, okay, love? Absolutely. Thank you so much. You are so, so welcome. So welcome. Okay, I'm going to, um, those of you in the call log that have called in to 845 277 9131, remember you have to push. I think it's one if you want to ask a question or connect with a loved one. Um, 620, you're going to be next. But first, I'm going to come over here and answer a YouTube question. Um, Kate wants to know if I will do a health, health clearing, a clearing for health. Um, Oh, she has a head or a sinus cold. I'm so sorry, Kate. Um, yeah, we are healthy. I get a no. So we're going to start clearing that. You may feel this. You may not. It, it, if you don't feel it, it doesn't mean it's not working. Oh, that might be something you just don't need at the moment. You might be a healthy person, so you might not be feeling it. Um, but when I just use the blanket statement, we are healthy it could be emotionally, psychologically, physically, financially, even health. Who And that is at about the 22-minute mark of the show. So if you want to come back and listen to that again, please, by all means, do. Okay. Um, for, okay, so Kavita asks, Hi, Tony, do you pick up anything about any benefits um, for healing from the healing service I attended with Pastor, can't really read that, this past Sunday. He's had uh, many healing miracles. Yeah, you know what? I do feel like there's going to be something coming in. It's not going to look the way you want it to. It might be a an, I get the word epiphany. You might get an epiphany about something you need to do or eat or take um, based on the healing that you received. And sometimes that is the way healing works. But I do feel like there is a, going to be a very, very, very strong uh, he, epiphany coming in based on the healing. So please pay attention to any thoughts that you get coming in. Okay, love. I'm going to go to 620. 620, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Um, my name is Jamie and I'm calling from Kansas. Excellent. How can I help you today, love? Um, I just want to connect with my brother that passed away. What's his first name, sweetie? Dustin. Dustin. And how old was he when he passed? He was 27. Okay. So um, there's a couple things I'm getting. And the reason I asked how old he was when he was, when he passed is because I'm seeing him as a much younger person, like maybe at the age of between five and eight, I want to say. I see him at five and then I see him at eight. So whatever, why ever he passed, whatever 
something happened between five and eight that might have been part of this. Sometimes that's what that means. Not all the time. Second, I'm very, very sorry for your loss. I'm yeah, very sorry for your loss. It's always difficult. Um, so I'm asking him to bring in a very um, specific message for you. And he is saying that he wants to give a message to the family, the, the whole family, not just uh, you, but he will give you a message specifically, but his message for the family. Um, the first thing he is saying is, is that he is very, very sorry. He, um, if I'm picking up on the right thing here, he just wants you to, or the right energy or the right person. And I think I am. He wants to say that he's sorry. Uh, he feels like, and again, hopefully I'm connecting with the right, uh, or you, you yeah, understand. I think you are. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> um, he understands that he caused a lot of problems and a lot of chaos with his, what he's calling situation. And we're not going to put too much information out on the air. We're just going to say with his situation and that he apologizes for that. And he should have never, um, he's just saying choices, 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 choices. And the next thing he wants to say, now the specific um, message that he wants to bring to you, love, is he wants to say, I'm going to, mm, do not make me cry on air. Um, he wants to tell you, please don't go down the same roads he went down. There are much better roads out there. Oh, gosh. Oh, my. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Do not go down the same roads he went down. There are much better roads out there. And that um, he wants you to have everything he himself like he wouldn't give to himself. He wouldn't let himself have. Yeah. He wants you to have such a better life. And don't be a, um, I don't, I don't know the word he's using, but, um, like use your brain. <laughs> it's basically it. Use your brain, use your brain. <laughs> don't, um, don't make those same okay. choices. And he also wants you to know that he's going to be watching you every minute of your life to make sure that you make good choices and um, to make sure that you have a better life than his. He's letting you know now he can't change you from making a choice if you want to make it, but he wants you to choose better, to do better, to choose better. He wants to make sure you know that there's no excuses for the roads he went down. It's all BS, basically. The excuses he made up or said, and that he wants you to make sure you are um, choosing a much, uh, like a better, better life. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for being here with me, for joining me for this hour. I love you all so much. I'm here every Monday and Wednesday at noon central. 60 seconds. Yep. I'm being counted out. So if you can, please come back and join again, bring your questions, bring your connections and know that you are loved beyond love. And uh, if you do love somebody, tell them. They may not know. They may need to hear it. Thank you again and have an absolutely amazing day.